Hey guys, Nicholas at Motorcycle Dress Up. Sorry, I am a little under the weather today, but I'm going to try to get through and install anyhow because it's a brand new product. We're very excited about it. And uh, it's something a lot of people are probably very interested in. Um, last month or so, uh, we sent off this exhaust system, the stock one, uh, to one of our suppliers. I uh, gave them kind of some videos of how it mounts up on the bolts. And they came up with this bad boy. This is from Force Winder, who already makes a great intake system for the Bolt. And we just featured that on our channel very recently uh, because they revamped the whole thing. Uh, the Force Winder um, exhaust system that they're making is made of a, um, a mild steel. Uh, it's gonna be sold in a raw mild steel, but could be powder coated in a black, I'm sure. Um, which is what I'm sure a lot of people might want, but for the price point, it's it seems like it's going to be a really nice ex exhaust system. Uh, this one is open, uh, but they do offer a baffle for it as well that will fit onto it. Uh, we're gonna do an install on uh, our shop bike here, which is in a crazy state with a huge gas tank on the front at the moment, but uh, that's that's for a different video and a different discussion, but. We are going to pop off this uh, Yoshimura exhaust system, which has been discontinued, and just uh, try it on this bike, see how it looks. All right, we got the uh, Yoshimura exhaust system off of here. You see we got our original mounting bracket. Um, if yours has had that removed because you have an aftermarket exhaust system, then um, you, you may need to find it or buy a new one. Um, one of the things you will note is to get it off, a lot of times you do have to drop the fork, the controls out of the way. So uh, we just loosened our bolts here at the bottom and uh, pulled it back a little bit and then we were able to finagle everything out. And of course, getting your O2 sensor off, uh, that is a 22 millimeter wrench. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you may want, well, you will want to replace these gaskets whenever you do replace your exhaust system. So um, we do sell those gaskets if you want new gaskets. I think they run probably $10 a piece. They're not cheap, but uh, it's a good, good uh, practice to go ahead and replace those anytime you remove the exhaust. Um, so now we're just going to go ahead and start by mounting up the header here and then uh, get that back um, exhaust system on there. After. And like that... We have it mounted up. It's actually a fairly simple install. Um, does get pretty close to your your rear axle bolt, so you will probably have to remove the uh, muffler side of it whenever you do a rear axle. Um, anything to do with the rear axle, so if you need to do the rear tire um, or replace your rotor, or maybe you're doing our pulley kit, you would have to uh, pull that muffler off. But the muffler is pretty easy. It's just two bolts right here and then uh, those springs, that's it. So pulling the muffler is really simple. And then, uh, yeah, so it, it's a really good looking kit, a really good looking exhaust. Uh, we're gonna take it outside and see what this thing sounds like. So we got our uh, exhaust system on here. We're gonna see how it sounds. fuck so yeah overall you can hear that 
system is loud as fuck. Um, they are going to offer a baffle for it, so if you need it quieter, then uh, they are going to offer that. Um, and then also uh, something to consider. My system doesn't want to idle super well with it, but I think that's probably due to the fact that I've got a fuel tuner um, as well as Ivan's tune and like a lot of other stuff going on. I got high compression uh, pistons on here. So this is a little different bike, a little different beast. But I think if you are just running more of a stock setup, uh, at least if there's not a fuel tuner in the mix, it'll probably run fine. So we're gonna take this, uh this uh, exhaust system on a ride here. Uh, you'll be able to hear it through my my video a little bit, but uh, may not be perfect because it is just phone mounted on my bike. Um, it's pretty fucking loud, so we'll see what it sounds like and how it rides like. Um, to me, the sound is very similar, well, actually louder and a little deeper than say like the TBR or the uh, Dean Speed Berserker. So like be between those two, I think it's probably very comparable, but it's more straight than those. Those are a little more upswung. Uh, so if you're looking for an exhaust system that's more straight, this is probably it. Um, I prefer the straight look. Um, that's what I had on my bike prior to this. It was the um, Yoshimura straight exhaust, so I, I really like the way that one just goes straight back, right, even with the axle. This one goes uh, right in front of that axle, so it's the uh, same sort of design. So let's see what it sounds like. switch to this exhaust system. We're going to take it on the highway. So we're right at the entrance to the highway. I'm going to take it on the highway. So far, hearing this motherfucker. Dude, it's, it, it's night and day from what I had. Uh, I might put up my Yoshimura, which has been discontinued for like six years for sale. <laughs> I'm serious. I really like this exhaust system so far. Well, let's see how it handles on the highway. <laughs>
first ride, you can kind of see how the color of that steel uh, changed along it. Everything feels really great. Really nice exhaust system. Um, I'm seriously thinking I'd probably switch to this for my bike. Um, and it seems like they're gonna offer a pretty affordable price. Um, I may have a powder coated black because I like the, the look of the black exhaust system, but, um, or not powder coated, but ceramic coated. Um, but uh, I have a local company that, you know, does Cerakote, so I'll see what rates are for that and uh, see if I can't get it Cerakoted. So yeah, my overall feelings on the exhaust system, um, sound wise, just as good, if not better, than the TBR and the uh, Dean Speed Berserker. Uh, looks, you know, very similar in design to those, except those are kind of ups, upswept at the rear, and this one's straight. Um, I prefer the straight look, personally. Uh, Power-wise, um, I'm definitely getting more juice out of the bike than I was on my Yoshimura exhaust system, which is saying something, because that's a full system exhaust, just like this. Um, but yeah, the, the bike seems like to me in the, from the seat that it's pulling more when I, when I go to, uh, go to throttle, um, you know, that there's no numbers behind it, but personally, you know, I've, I've ridden this bike for 50,000 miles. I know how it feels. And those 50,000 miles were, you know, all on that Yoshimura. So putting that new exhaust system and seeing how it pulls, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty confident that it pulls harder um, at the, with this exhaust uh, but yeah I mean it's it's night and day the sound night and day the the way it pulls um, the the idling issue that I kind of had initially I think the ECU is adjusted uh, so a lot of times these exhaust systems what happens is the ECU you know will notice that there's something different and it'll try to uh, even it out for you and so uh, after I did a ride for a little bit everything just just dialed in and everything is fine. So I think everything is good now. So that's my take on it. Um, I think that this is gonna be a really great addition to the Yamaha Bolt uh, lineup of products. Um, we are glad to offer this exhaust system here. Uh, glad that we were able to help Forcewinder, you know, uh, bring this one to market because, you know, we are kind of la lacking some exhaust systems, especially with some of the companies discontinuing their exhausts and, and intakes over the last year or two. Um, so uh, really excited, really excited. Uh, look forward to some of you guys picking one up.